Got a note from a guy, and uh, I've had several before the same thing. I decided I would go ahead and do something here. I've gone through combustion analysis with oil furnaces, uh, but I'm using, you know, combustion analysis tools too, in addition to the old standard tools. Okay, these combustion analysis tools, they're either going to need a replacement of a part on them or need to be calibrated every year. So it makes them kind of problematic for using for an individual that just has an oil furnace and wants to keep it up himself. So it may not be viable to use combustion analysis what you can do is you can go back to uh, what we call the old way where we use the smoke pump and a uh, draft gauge and maybe a pyrometer to uh, set these things. It's not as accurate but you can actually make a pretty good setup on an oil furnace with just those tools. And let me show you the tools we're using. Now here's the tools we're using. This is a pyrometer. Uh, I couldn't find any of my short probes, so I have to use a long probe on this thing. You can buy these um, these probes that'll fit in something like a Fluke 16, or uh, or pretty much anything else that uses a thermocouple for uh, the sensor for temperature. And uh, I, I think I bought these from China for three bucks or something but anyway you can get those and they'll give you a reasonable idea of what your stack temperature is uh, smoke pop that's old back rack thing and this here this is a draft gauge now this is a draft gauge that I commonly use for pressure switch setting uh, uh, duct pressure and so on. The only difference I've made is I put a little metal probe on here because I'm not too good an idea to put this thing inside the vent. It's going to melt. But it will do the settings you need. Uh, generally you're going to want to be somewhere between uh, 03 and 04 in the vent and 02 over the fire. Now these things vary with different furnaces and you won't always get the ones you want. Uh, you're looking for a zero smoke on the smoke uh, test and you'd like a net stack temperature of probably about 400. I'm not going to get this on this furnace. This furnace is notably inefficient. But uh, I'd like to see 400 sometimes you get 450 now that's a net temperature what I'm doing is I'm taking the temperature I see on this thing and I am subtracting the ambient temperature that gives me a net stack but th those three tools will actually give me a fairly good idea of how this machine is working and uh, a reasonable measure of efficiency so let's take it over to the uh, oil furnace and see what we can do. Okay, here we are with the stack temperature set. We're doing stack temperature uh, measurement. I've got the probe in there, obviously that probe way too long. I taped it down here to keep the back end of the probe from touching the other end of the pipe. So what we have, okay, we got about 640. I'm just gonna call that 640. That gives me about a 595 uh, stack temperature net. So it's run for about six, seven minutes, probably pretty well uh, settled as to the stack temperature. Okay, now we're looking at the vent, and I've got the uh, tester in there, and we're reading an O2 vent. It should be O3 or O4. Although this is the damper is completely closed, and that's the best I can get, but this does not have a proper vent on it. This is just a short vent on this thing. So I'm going to accept that, but you should be running 0.03 to 
Now here I have the probe over fire. Now it's most of the time it's 0.1, but it's just barely any any vacuum in there at all. That's partly because I don't have a lot of draft, but I would want at least a 0 0.01 steady or a 0 0.02 over fire. So that's how you measure that. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to check smoke. Now looking here at the side of this Zebecki burner, uh, we have a mass air damper here. That one we're going to keep closed. It's only for large nozzles. This one here is the one we're going to adjust. Now I'm going to close that a little bit while I'm looking at the fire and I'm going to try to make that fire a little smoky because I want to go from a high smoke to a low smoke. So I'll be adjusting this one right here. Now I'm adjusting it to lower and you can see there's a lot more fire. It's actually a little bit lazy. If I turn it way up, see it goes down, that's too much. But now when I get up there and I'm it kind of has that little bit lazier flame coming out. I want to start from there. That should be a smoky flame. Now here we're looking at the smoke patches. Okay, here's a easy number 10 smoke. Gobs of smoke. Cut that back down a bit. That's about a number oh eight. I've got the little doohickey here. Yeah, it's maybe eight, maybe even nine. Okay, the next one over is a lot less. And maybe two. Okay, I want a one or zero. I'm really not thrilled with one. I've got one here. That's probably about one. And then I've got one here that's zero. And yeah, it's, uh, that's about right. Okay. So you're just going to start adding air until you get down to that zero smoke if you can get there. Don't go any farther. Make sure that's as far as you go. Because any more air into this system and you're going to end up with a, uh, a too much air in the fire that really makes a lot of difference in these oil furnaces the most inefficient burn is too much air because it cools down the flame so the oil doesn't burn completely so be sure you get down to that zero if you can uh, maybe one if that's uh, best you can get uh, but don't put any more so that's it pretty much on setting these things up be sure you tighten all the uh, uh, air adjustments and so on before you finish on it, and you're pretty much done. Uh, I will link a video to how the smoke pump works at the end of this video, and I'll also link the uh, uh, how to uh, do a annual service on an oil furnace. Anyway, that's it on this one.